name is Abby and today we are going to be making a fish. So all you need to get is a piece of paper. I have painted a white piece of paper red and um, some glue. I have PVA glue but you could use Brit stick, uh, some scissors and a pen or colored pencils or pens. Um, so if you want to pause the video go grab that stuff and come back and then we'll be good to go. Okay so hopefully you've got everything you need. What we're going to do is get our piece of paper we're going to take the top corner and we're going to fold it over until it makes a triangle. So it should look something like this. So you're just taking it, folding it over, and then you're left with this bit at the bottom. So we're going to get our scissors. Make sure you're using safe scissors. Um, and maybe you might want to get an adult to make sure you're okay with your scissors. So we're going to cut along and cut this white bit off the bottom. Well, mine's is white. Yours might not be white but just cut off the extra bit that is not a part of our triangle and put it up to the side because we'll use that later. So then you have a square. So after we've got our square, you'll see this center line. So then we're gonna fold it again. So what you do is fold it in a triangle into that middle line. So you're just folding it in until folding in the corner until it meets that middle line. So the easiest way to do it is if you have your square, turn it so it's like a diamond, and then you're taking this outside corner and you're just pulling it in until it becomes a triangle once it meets that middle line. Oh, I just, <laughs> I just have a different end. Um, but you get the idea. So you fold it in to look like this. Don't worry if it's not perfect, if it's got some gaps, it's, like that. it's fine. So you take it, you fold it in, and fold it in to make two triangles, and then you unfold it again. So you should have your center line, and then one line here, and one line here. So it looks kind of like a kite, like that. Okay, so then we unfold it again, and we're gonna fold the whole thing in half again. So just over the same line, so it's like a triangle, like so. You are then going to get your scissors, and on the folded side, so not the open side, the folded side, you are going to cut along until you hit, so do you see this folded line here, from where we just folded it with our, when it looked like a kite? I'm going to cut slits into it up until that line. So you, your slits can be about maybe two finger width apart. Um, so you're just gonna do this. So only cut up until that line you can see that's from when you folded it. So you're not cutting full strips. You're just cutting up. And don't worry if your lines are different widths apart, it doesn't matter too much. And then once you get about, I'd say, most of the way up, you want to stop. So stop here, see how I've cut up to here and I've left this bigger chunk at the end because that's going to be the head of the fish. So you're going to cut some slips in and then if you open it out, you'll have these slips. Do you see them? And down here is the head. So we're going to open out our paper again. So it will now look like this. So you've got your original fold and then your two lines down here and then your cuts in the middle. Um, we're now going to get our glue, so get my glue and I'm just going to glue along the outside triangle. So just your slips are cut here and then this triangle that's on this outside edge, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue there. Like so. And then I'm going to bring this other triangle over and the outside of it, I'm going to stick that on top of it so you're making kind of triangle and shape again. So hopefully that's clear what I mean. Again, don't worry if it's a bit rough looking. It just doesn't need to be perfect. So it kind of makes like a cone shape. So you fold it under and you're gluing the two edge outside triangle bits together. So this triangle is glued onto the triangle underneath. And you can Secure it if it's a bit sticky up like mine, you can add a bit more glue there. Um, but I won't do that for now. So, this is your fish starting to shape shape. 
So then, that piece of paper that you threw away earlier, what you can do with that is make some fins and a tail. Um, I have already cut some out earlier, because it's like the computer here. So um, I'm not going to cut them out just now, but basically I cut them out. I did it on a different coloured piece of paper, you could do whatever you like. I just cut out a love heart shape, so that would be my tail for the end, and then I just cut out a few shapes like that for the fins. So I'll just stick those on, so I'll put a blob of glue on the end of the love heart, and we'll just stick that onto the end of my fish, and then I'll get my fins. them on. So you can do whatever colours you like, you can decorate it how you like, maybe you can have a sparkly fish and I look forward to if anybody makes one of these, if you want to stick a picture of it in the comments, I will definitely be looking out. They're very cool. Don't worry if you get glue everywhere like me um, and try not to stick it to the table. So this is what it will look like. So I've just stuck the love heart shape to the bottom, I'll show you on the bottom, like that. You can colour them in if you wanted both sides and I've just stuck a few fins like that. So that's my fish. And to finish it off we are going to, so I will for this bit use that red piece of paper that we cut off earlier and I'm just going to draw a big semi kind of circle. So I'll show you. This is my first time doing this, so we'll see what it looks like. But I basically did a big shape like that. Just kind of a big, um, I don't know what shape you call that. But uh, a kind of dome. And then we're going to cut that out. And again, we're just going to glue along this bottom end here. So because mine is red on the one side, I want to glue on the coloured side because it's going to stick up to it. So this is going to be our fish's mouth. I'm getting glue everywhere. Um, so it's going to um, go along here, along the bottom of our fish. You can be much neater than mine. And it looks a bit like a basking shark actually, which is cool. So you can adjust the height, obviously mine's sticking out a bit, so I might just want to trim off a bit of that. And then you could obviously wait till it dries so it looks a bit better. But essentially that's like its mouth. And then I'm going to add some eyes of pen, so again you could stick its eyes on, um, or maybe you've got some googly eyes. I'm just going to draw my eyes, so I'm just trying to avoid all the splodges of glue. Um, so I'm going to do one eye here, one eye here, and colour them in. So these would look really cool. If you wanted, you could put, just squished his face, but if you wanted, you could put string around one of these slits and hang it up. That would be very cool. And there you go. So I promise it's not that complicated. and. Um, you'll have time to let the glue dry and you can design it however you want and you can stick some cool eyes on it and um, so yeah there is your fish and um, I hope that um, some of you have a go making it again if you do and you want to take a picture stick it in the comments and I will definitely check back um, but yeah I will see you all hopefully next